like the first very first thing we have over here is uh, place linear member by system so once we click on this tool so we get one ribbon here so the first one comes up with a hierarchy and hierarchy is the again important thing always so what we need to do we have to give a hierarchy here so go to more and here we will select one area where we wanted to place it everything we will get the access for the piping only so we get the things in the piping miscellaneous folder here we will get category column column section name like you can go to the section library where you can select the section size
think it's working now. Can you please close this one? Can I get the controls? Please press middle once again. It is locked in the wrong direction. 
here. Middle. It's not locked. Middle. Middle in one direction. Sorry. I think we are doing it on the wrong place. Yes. And here we have left click, right? So that's how. You can create one column and right click to cancel the command. We have another option. You can delete this one. We have much easier option to create the columns also. How to create a column? Let's say once you left click over here, we have a third last tool. Just this one. Place columns. Here what we have to do, first we have to go to the system, definitely we have to give the hierarchy, that's the most important part. That's a column, that's okay. Here I can take shortcut, W, 10 star, enter. I can select any section click on ok and then we have a cardinal point so once you click on cardinal point you will get 5 right and then what it is asking for the bottom plane from where it is going to start this is the bottom plane so we have selected this one once you select this it is asking for the top plane where the column is going to place on the top so it is the top one <coughs> sorry and then we will go to the intersection one and then what we can select the intersection grids like this and this right because we have one more here and if you can see here you will get all the columns at one go also if you wanted to rotate the to change you can change the orientation it will be changed in one go and say finish that's how you can create all the columns in, in one go right <coughs> now for the This is the option for the beam. And here we can go to the type category. It's beam. Here also we can give one section size. Star enter. Okay. And then we can go here. We are using top center for the beam. And because we are from the piping department. So you don't require the relationship so you can just click first point and then you can click you can see the second point but if you wanted to create with the relation as we are learning the intergraph so we will learn with the relationship then it's your choice that in future you wanted to build up with the relationship or not now what is the relationship you will see that once you move the cursor on this column can you see the line excess line can you please middle click over here middle click it's locked right and then we are going to do left click here right and then can you please press uh no wait and then by root and then again middle click in this direction we are going so we will lock in this direction where at this grid line can you please press middle click right, it's done and then we have this one so you can press left click on the grid column axis so you 
can see that it is now in the relationship with the grid plane and the column. Right. Now let's see if we are if we are not making a relationship. So what happens? Suppose we are not making a relationship. Right. This we get the intersection. Click. And this is the another intersection. Right. The intersection symbol is coming up. So you click there. Now suppose Now suppose that right click just to cancel the command. This level is there, right? So if this level, we are going to the properties, and this level is changed to 12 meters. Apply. So what will happen? See, the beam which is in the relationship properly, it is it went up. The beam which is not in the relationship. There. So this is the uh, benefit of placing the beam. Just is that clear? Up till here, we can text also if we cannot uh, speak. Any questions up till here? Yeah, my my phone was off. My microphone was off. That, that is okay. I can. I, I can. Okay. Okay. Great. I'm not going too much. I'm just covering short, short parts so that we can complete the structures like in two, three days. Because I understand it's your work time too. So we will not go to that part. Right. And then what you have to do is. So for then suppose you wanted we wanted to copy this beam. Let's delete this one. I'm just showing you if you wanted to copy this beam to another column. So how you will copy the beam? So I have selected this beam, right? If I wanted to copy and paste it is that level so remember what relationship we have followed we have followed with these two columns and the grid plane right so we copy from the point and then we will paste it right and then you can see that it is going we have, we have to paste it here right so we, we don't want this level the level will be changed so can we can we just click on this level once we click on this level you can see that the level is changed here and the relationship with the columns are same so we can just press ok button and it will be pasted there similarly if we wanted to copy these two